the purpose of this lesson is to show you that you can add subtitles to your PowerPoints if they are in Office 365, which will be the web-based version of the software. And so you'll have your PowerPoint open, and then you're going to go to View Ribbon. You want to make sure you have a tick here for Use Subtitles. Underneath that, you'll have the subtitle settings. You can drop that down and you'll see it says spoken language. I'm going to be speaking in English and that's good for you because I don't speak other languages very well. But what's great is that I can have that transferred into another language. In this case, I want to show you first the translation to English and I will start from the beginning of my slide series here and just show you how the accuracy works. The placement of the subtitles will be in the bottom left corner. That is another one of the settings. And when I switch back after typing on this a few seconds, you'll get to see that setting. Now I'm going to press the space bar. It advances the slide and I would then be speaking about this topic. So I'm going to press escape now. And so I'm going to go back to the subtitle settings. And you'll see that I use the overlaid bottom selection. You can put them on top. So let's do that. And let's change the subtitle setting so that the language that I translate to will be Greek. Now I don't know Greek. Don't have any idea how to speak that language. So this will be kind of fun. So I'm gonna click on this next slide and actually let's go to the third slide and I'm going to click from current slide. So now when I talk it's going to put my language into the Greek language. I have no idea if this is accurate. Let's change it to another language. How about Dutch? I click from current slide and so you now see that my speech is being translated into the Dutch language. And here's the next slide and this slide of course is about assistive technologies. One more setting, let's change the setting from the translation language being Dutch to Spanish. Let's see. Let's scroll down for that. Here we go. This would be my last attempt to do this. So from the current slide. Now I'm speaking in English and it should be translating into Spanish. And so this was my demo. I find that this is a useful, but not always the most accurate means of adding subtitles live when you're doing a presentation online or in a classroom. You can use this to help your audience understand the content.